Getting off to a flying start is the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros in Scotland versus Hungary. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game though, Derek. Hopefully not disappointed. A look at the starting 11 today. Well, in this formation, it's the fullbacks who have to get forward to provide the win. Because the midfield and front players stay very narrow. But it should allow them to control the middle of the park, where they are dominant. Callum McGregor. And now with McGinn. Hungary regaining possession. Really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, we know he's an outstanding player, but when he gets free kicks in wide areas, he usually delivers the perfect cross, and when it's on the edge of the box, he always makes the goalkeeper work. Well, that's of confidence. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Milos Kerkes. Now, what can they do from here? Now, disappointing end to the move. Scott McTominay. It's with McTominay. build up as they try to fashion something Christie the cross is on shielding the ball superbly well sadly they just couldn't keep possession so boss Lloyd. Scotland with the ball again. Scott McTominay. Kieran Tierney. Here's Robertson. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Able to skip past his man. He went did his job to begin with. No threat about it. to an end you might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far but not every aspect Stuart well he struggled to have any real impact on the game I think if they are to kick on in the second half it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball and hopefully with that he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure <laughs> each other just about stride for stride. He's got the Tomine. Now with Ryan Christie. Just cutting off the supply. to take back possession. Jack Hendry. Scott McTominay. Callum McGregor. Do they mean business on this occasion? Could be!
might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. And unable to pick out a teammate. That will be a throw. They will now make use of their substitute bench. to an end both sides have the moments over the course of the 90 minutes but it finishes in a stalemate Stuart what did you make of it all well yes Derek probably not the best game I don't think either team played to their full potential the final ball was often lacking and the chances they did create they were unable to take advantage of a bit disappointing really as I was expecting more well he caught the eye at times in this particular match didn't he Stuart well he summed up the team's performance he did okay without being at his best he can certainly do a lot better